Hello, welcome to FMOD in 2 Minutes, the series for beginners in game audio implementation. Today we're talking a little bit more about the Spatializer. Now I've added this project to download in a link below this video so you can hear and test out all the effects that I'm about to mention. I want you to think of the Spatializer in two parts. One of them affecting the volume depending on the distance you set, and the other being the 3D panning effect, otherwise known as envelopment. In the previous video we had this set to auto, meaning that Whatever I change the minimum value to, the sound size dial will always be double the value of the minimum distance. Also visually represented up here in the 3D panner by this circle. This sound size is essentially the area of this 3D effect as we get right up close to an object. As opposed to an object sounding like it's a small point in front of us, beyond a certain minimum distance it will sound like it's enveloping our stereo feel, therefore sounding more natural. In the project I have two examples of this. This is a bad example of this. If I set it to user you can see the sound size in this one is set to a lot lower than the minimum distance. Therefore, if we're passing a torch fire in a cave for instance, as we pass the object it will sound like we are flying from one side of our headphones to another in a very unnatural way. However, in the good example I've got this set to auto and the sound size is double the minimum distance, meaning that we have this lovely little grey circle of influence as we get up close to the object. And when you download it and test it, you'll see that this is a lot smoother as you simulate walking past the object. Right next to sound size is minimum extent. Now this is the minimum effect of this 3D envelopment idea. So the best way to exemplify this is with thunder. Although with Thunder I still want to hear the distance and the direction it's coming from, I also want it to sound a lot larger than a torch fire for instance. So I can set this minimum extent to say, I don't know, 200 degrees. And you can see this exemplified with this white line in the 3D preview. And what this means is that no matter which direction I play it in, it'll always take up a little bit more of my stereo field, making it sound like it's enveloping and surrounding me a little bit more, making it sound bigger. So there you go, don't forget to download the project and have a play around and test out the different effects and everything I've just talked about, and I hope this helps explain the Spatializer a little bit clearer.